What's up? Uh, all right. What we got here? Uh, corn, exploding corn, Ipol, Savior, Randy, Sun, Sun. Welcome back. All right. So I just came up with this brilliant idea of uh, how's the back stomach not better? It's not. It's not worse. It's just not better. But I got this idea. So I found. Uh, I got this thing uh, at the container store a little while back. I bought one too many. And I realized it raises up. But I also realized it's about the same size as a desk mat. So. I, I came up with this idea, maybe I should just lay out all of my desk mats, that way this will come up even higher. And that way I can like stream, at least stream temporarily, on something that's about the size of a desk mat. What do you guys think? Good idea or great idea? <laughs> I do have several desk mats. Genius? Alright. Cool. We're gonna do it. Aggressively growing the stand. I <laughs> like that. Yeah. All right. Let's do this one at a time. <clears throat> I have, well, we'll count. There's uh, two so far. That's two. I guess we could do the overhead. That's two. Whatever works for now, holy, that thing I told you about works out. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, Bitter Seeds. Welcome. Where are we at? Three. Four. Five. Six. <clears throat> we are so back. Seven. Our thing from my desktop to the NAS works. I hate drag and drop shit. So much easier to open a shell and get busy. <laughs> uh, didn't have your back. I've been uh, in Torrance all week. Oh, you've been in Torrance. Uh, it's been happening. It's it's been about a week now, actually. I think it started on Monday. I just, I've been having this back and stomach pain that comes in for no reason and then subsides for no reason and it hasn't subsided yet. This is a, one of the longer phases I've been in, uh, but this happens every now and then. I don't know. I forgot where we are. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's nine. You guys are familiar with this one. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Oh, uh, this one's a little thinner. This is from Shintaki. 13? Are we at 13 now? Use that one for the top since it has cuts. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put the uh the plastic thing on top. Whatever are we at? 12 or 13? I think this is 13. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, fourteen. Fourteen? Fifteen. Sixteen. And then I think this is the last one here. This one's the super beater. Seventeen. So we're at seventeen. We got seventeen of them. And then I put this guy on top. Which has all these figures I've won at uh at round one. And this is like pretty uh pretty decent now.
No, oh, this is usable, except now I'm like looking down at all my screens. <laughs> Anyways, this is what it looks like. Let's try a type test, yeah? I now have the uh, the microphone closer. 68 to 70 millimeters in height, all of them. And then, I don't know, whatever this uh, height is, this is uh, the long uh, underbed box from the container store. All right, there we go, type test. What do you guys think? <clears throat> Can't you lift up the monitors? They are arms, right? Yes, they are, but um, not very high. Uh, well, I could. It's, then I just have to do more adjustments. Like I can, I can lift these up to a certain extent. Like this can go up about this high. This can go up about this high. For now, I could raise them up on the the bars that they're on, but like, I need to go around and do that. <clears throat> I think the box sounds hella thocky. Punctu, welcome back. All right. Anyways. Yeah, tonight's a quick task night. I uh, don't know how, how much I uh, have to do versus also, I, I guess I don't know how much I can do without sitting down. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's take a look. Let me see what's on my agenda here. So, uh, I think the two main ones I wanted to look at were organizing these CRP key sets and then maybe looking again back at the Joy-Con. Um, yeah. Other than that, let's see. Just overhead, this is, uh, you know, it's much closer now. Um, even as, as wide of a focal length this is. Um, all right, let's do the key sets first. Okay. Let's grab, uh, I guess we need some bags. I don't know how many I'll need yet. I want you to, uh, you want to do a pain stream where you watch you in agony late at night? No, I mean, so, you know, last night, it wasn't, last night wasn't a very long stream. Um, <laughs> I just realized also, now my monitor is partially blocking the camera, and the camera is also not facing upwards towards me, so I might as well just turn this off. Okay, um... So, last night wasn't very long, and I spent most of, I spent a lot of it standing up. I think I was probably sitting for an hour, hour and a half or so. And it was okay, um, but, like, as soon as I got up out of my chair and then, like, just started going around, I was like, oh, I could, I could feel it. I could feel it. So, yeah. All right, um... Let's get started on uh, some of these, some of these sets here, and uh, it is going to be, I think, kind of interesting. Now this is uh, right here. This is the Cyrillic um, 
like that red alert look. Oh, uh, bitter seeds. Were you the one looking for um, the red alert numro? Cause they are dropping the KKB version, which kind of means you'd have to buy the whole set just to get that number row. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't use it uh, because, like, I wouldn't buy it because I don't like the some of the legends on um, the alphas. But the uh, the number looks pretty accurate. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it. We can pull it up here. KKB Red Alert. Wherever it is. Uh, I don't know who's stocking it, but um, I use Red Alert on the W1, which has no numro. Oh, I see. But yeah, um, they're selling this. Let's see, where there's no picture of like the key set view. Does anyone know who's running KKB Red Alert? Because right now all I see is Violet Alert. Which also seems pretty interesting, um, but again, I probably still wouldn't buy it because I don't like the B legend. But they're doing the same thing for Red Alert. Anyways. <clears throat> Alright, so the funny thing about me getting these Cyrillic sub-legends for... Um, the red version is that I already have the Cyrillic red alert. Got today violet alert. I love it. Ah, let's see how the B legend looks. This B doesn't look as, uh, it doesn't look quite as bad as the one that I saw in Darling. But it is cool. I like the concept a lot, to be honest. I wish there was just... I wish they ran it on GMK. <laughs> also, nice board. Nice layout. I'm a fan. Fan of the layout. I was bugging you about that when I was going to go on the Odin and had another red cap set on it. Lube switches runs... Oh, it's on lube switches? So I don't need it. I see, I see. Caps. There it is. Oh, wait. You can just get just the red numero. Well, there you go. Chris, I'm in the market for a good and not super expensive HHKB60. Any wrecks? Uh, are you looking for MX? Are you looking for um, EC or just anything? You paste that URL in chat? Yeah, will do. MX. Yeah, Arc 60 is a good one. Um, Frog Mini. Uh, those are like the two that come to mind as like some of the more quick ones where it's just like, oh, that's a good one. Um, QK60 maybe? Depends on what you're looking for exactly. But... Those are like some of the, the budget winners when it comes to MX, HHKB, I would say. Um, if you could find yourself, say, like an older top mount, um, just a simple top mount, like I got this S58M. This is what we just built last night. Um, but if, uh, if you could get something like this for cheap on the uh, aftermarket, it's another option too. All right, maybe I'll... Uh, Come back to the red page set. Um, let's do the uh, black on black first. I'm good with aftermarket finds. Okay. It just gave me arc sixty sold out only aftermarket. Ah. Is this 7U? I 
I may get the red alert extension pack. Uh, I'd like the windows key since my lum lock and caps lock have LEDs. Ah. Feels like I won't need very many of these. Anyways, how's your uh, guys' Sunday been going? I haven't been able to do a whole lot because I, I know that if I even just go and try to sit, it's been a, it's going to be a little challenging for me. But did go out for a little. I went out for a bike ride. Even the bike ride kind of, I was feeling it just because you sit on a bike. Grabbed a nice uh, salad lunch. Ooh, nipples. I got the nippled F and J. Run my bike around all day, probably 30 miles all in. Oh, shit. That's a much more intense bike ride than mine. My bike rides are always like three miles. <laughs> or less. Probably today was probably less. <laughs> Even when I am feeling good. This storm sucks. Luckily, no power outage. Yeah, this uh, this weather today has been kind of crazy. I guess from the last two days. I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have tomorrow off. I'm happy to have tomorrow off. Okay. Oh, control is on here. Wow, that's awesome. Marathon is going on in town, so I leapfrogged it for a bit, then posted up for a Bloody Mary. Nice. Gonna get the extension kit, which I can use. Hell yeah. And I guess not this one. Oh, shit. Really? Wait, it is this one. And then the second mount option for the board I'm working on, gaskets. Let's take a look. What type of gaskets? Are they going to be adhesive poron? Adhesive of pour on, yes. All right, so I can see here. There's no lip that comes up here, right? Because that's my least favorite thing about pretty much building any keyboard, uh, especially that uh, uses pour on gasket mounts. So if this just if this just comes down, acceptable. Personally, for me. If I were to make a recommendation based on my enjoyment of building keyboards, I would make these channels like much, much bigger than the actual pour on gaskets that you'd be including. That's just me though. Just me. That's what I would do. Now I recognize that it's your design and uh, you know, there's all kinds of ramifications, but if you're, uh, if you're asking me, what would uh, cause the most enjoyment in a build it's to make adhesive pour on gaskets as easy as possible to apply and in a lot of cases that means not using adhesive pour on gaskets at all but if i had to making the channel bigger is a big thing and also on top of that making sure that there's no front lip here just saying again 
It's your board. I'm not I'm not your dad. <laughs> There are a lot of mounting points on the top. Also, hello, Chris and friends. Motion Grave, welcome. So easy to just get replaced with silicone. I agree. Honestly, I legit hate glue on gaskets. Why no front lip, though? Okay, so here's what happens. Um, some of the... Uh, some very, very early adhesive pour on gasket mounts would have these channels here where you have a front lip on each of these channels, and then they would be sized perfectly to the pour on gasket. Uh, that gets included and the problem with this is that like not all of us have like little rat sized fingers to get these pour on gaskets perfectly in that channel most of us are like fiddling around with it we might stretch it just a tiny 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 bit and then all of a sudden it doesn't fit in the channel perfectly and i don't know it's just ugly it's i don't know you're you're aligning it in incorrectly it's just it's a horrible experience for builders. It's a horrible experience for builders. By builders, I mean me. Um, and I'm sure I'm sure there's other people who would agree with me. I don't know that's every single person out in the uh, in the in the world who has ever built a pour on. He's a pour on gasket mounted board. But I can speak from my experience. Every single time that I have to do an adhesive pour on mount uh, adhesive pour on gasket mounted board. I'm always like anxious to do it. I'm always like, ugh, like this is, I, I'm, I'm already dreading it when I know. Like when I know that I have to. So, just, just saying here. Just saying. Again, it's your board. Uh, I think if it's, uh, if it's your vision to have it any specific way, including a way that I hate, um, you know, your vision is more important than anything else. I'm just saying, if I was building it, I would hate it. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Why are there... Oh! What is this? I don't know what this... Con this is a... R... This is a bottom row control. The heck? Bottom 1.75U control? Vega gas strips are uh, pretty rough. If I recall correctly, get those gremlin paws out of here. I've become a fan of tadpoles more than anything. Alright. Is this short right shift? Where's backspace? Here it is. All right. There is CRP black on black. Been waiting for this for a very long time. Now, I don't think this comes with a 6U bar. Which is a little unfortunate, but whatever. I don't care. I'm kind of mad uh, that looks almost better than stealth. I still haven't used my stealth. It's like GMK Dark, really. More so than anything. Uh, let me go grab some more of the bigger Ziplocs. be totally honest i have the um i'm still thinking about that cyrillic uh kit that i have for this all red crp and there's a part of me that thinks i don't really want to use it i bought it and i don't really want to use it what keycaps are those this is crp r6 black on black kind of makes sense actually i thought about getting rid of adhesives but i just never worked with silicone socks 
Likes to order them from anywhere, so to use the back gaskets is easy to buy, but yeah, for other reasons, we'll try to find a way to manage somehow using long silicone socks instead. Um, they would be much better in many ways. Ah. Question, is there a V2 of these summertime switches? I'm seeing some with a vendor. Yes, this is V2. V2 available in Asia. Cool TY getting them back, uh, getting them as we speak. Excited about the palm top. Okay, flipping this over did not actually result in any kind of advantage. It's a little run unless Western vendors decide to get on board in the next few months. Only 20k have been produced to meet the contractual agreements in the region. Okay, so here's a funny thing. Um, I don't think it's any big secret that I have a very large collection of physical product, physical keyboard product. And one of the other big problems that uh, arises from that is this sense that um, you know, it's a lot of physical stuff, but I also keep a lot of the packaging. And there's a part of me that's starting to think, like, man, maybe I, I think I should just start getting rid of some of this packaging. Like, there's some boards that come with, like, it's the board, and then it's a carrying case, and then the carrying case is inside of a very custom-made box. And it's, like, this is just so excessive, so unnecessary, and I feel like I don't need this. Should I just throw these away? Like, the piggy came in like that. Like, there's a bunch of boards that are kind of like that. What do you guys think? So hard to let that go as a collector though. Yeah, but I'm just like literally running out of physical space. Like the heavy grail comes with a crazy ass box. Like honestly, as a collector, I I'm I'm for me so like indifferent to them now but the only reason i keep them is because i'm just like what if i need to sell it you know what if i need to sell it is this better that i have all this extra stuff and there's a part of it that thinks like fuck like i feel like whoever's gonna buy this probably wouldn't care that much 100 square foot room will run out of space quick if i keep the boxes that's like how i feel bandoliers gmk trays get recycled upon arrival now the um those things like um they go kind of flat, so I can kind of like smush them in, and I keep them all in a corner. Oh, and same here, reality is that uh, almost nobody in the hobby gives a shit about the box. Yeah, they, all they care about really, or all I care about at this point is like, does it come in a carrying case that I could carry around for when I go to meetups? Does it come in a carrying case that I could put on a shelf that like keeps it somewhat protective if, you know, I just drop it or something? It's TGR box, and yes, but normal shipping boxes, nah. The box does make it easier to sell, add some prestige to the presentation. Yeah, I know. And it's just, it's weird. And so, like, there's all this, like, hammer CRP packaging. I'm like, do I get rid of this? I feel like I should just get rid of this. All right, I need to look at uh, how this layout looks. And also, we're going to take a close look at um, the one I already have. CRP... What the fuck? Xerox. R6. What if you sell and ship in bags? I know, that's what I was thinking. It's just like, yeah, what if? Like, someone's going to buy it. Someone's going to buy it. Like, whatever. Like, and that, that's the other thing I realized, too. It's like, a lot of times, there's a part of me that thinks, like, fucking... Like, I'm not going to... Okay. There's two ways for me to look at this. Uh, I've sold a few things now at this point. And sometimes I'm just like, I'm not going to haggle over like a couple bucks. If you're, you know, if, if, if your price was X dollars and mine was Y dollars, like I might just give it to you for X. But then there's sometimes where um, the way 
that the offer is presented to me as like, man, why are you haggling over a couple dollars? It's like, fuck you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, anyways, the reason I just bring that up is because, like, um, if I'm already not, like, if it's not already not a big deal to me to just lose a couple dollars, uh, like, over a sale, why would it be that big of a difference to me if I'm just, like, selling, um, just, like, selling a keyboard without a box and just, like, not making the extra couple dollars? Like, if someone's buying something and they, they need to have the box and they're paying that much of a premium, like, like how how common is that? I, I would say, like, not not really. Like, I know that there are people like that, but, like, there's a part of me that thinks, like, well, if I just get rid of the box, oh, well, like, they're out of the market for me. Um, that shit is best to shut down and watch people get baffled. <laughs> All right, where are we? I'm looking for Xerox. Where the hell? I literally went in the biggest circle to get to this. Okay. Um. All right, so I'm going to just lay everything down here. But my end goal is I want to actually do a two-tone here because I have R5 where this whole set was in white. Um, and I kind of just want to, I want to invert it. It's, uh... I don't know, people getting super hung up on the amount of times that a key set has been mounted is so infuriating to deal with. It's like, dude, I'm mailing this shit to you in bags. <laughs> Koala, welcome. Yeah, I wouldn't care to be honest. Uh, use Chopstick, welcome, as well. I do think it's cute that Synology basically runs a jacked up version of Debian. Oh, I didn't actually know that. I just I just run it with the, the GUI. I haven't like looked that hard. Because all I, all I really use it for is just storage, to be honest. Oh, that's interesting. I forgot about this. So, like, the dark legend of the numbers is, like, shifted up one. Um, the one that it actually is is the, the light blue legend. You gotta understand this perspective, though, yeah? Uh, they want it as close to new as possible. Stems do stretch caps sometimes. Eh, I get that, but, the po uh, but I post that the set is used. If it's an issue from uh, the get-go, then don't ask. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I get it. Like, uh, I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird, it's overall weird. What is this? Zero equals, and then I think this one goes here. That's what you would expect buying used, though. Shipping it in the original box wouldn't mask it. <laughs> I know, people get hung up over, like, the weirdest things, right? Um, <clears throat> same, but I like to do things via SSH. I find a shell easier to manip manipulate files with. Um, so I enabled SSH on the on the NAS. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, by the way, guys, you know, I know this is going to be a somewhat short stream here. So make sure you guys get in your uh, point contributions towards activating Windows. Just wanted to say that now. I realize I don't really need the uh, diagram here because um, it is the light blue sub legends for everything. Pretty much, I could have just looked at this. TBH has only ever happened like twice out of all the sales I've been a part of. Again, it's about presentation though. It gives a false sense of security and peace of mind for some of us. It, I know it. It's funny. It's I think it's funny because it's like. It's like the better your pictures are, the more likely you are to make a sale, right? And it's it's kind of ridiculous, but it's just it's just how it is, I guess. Exactly, man. Let's be real though, keycaps don't very sell don't sell very well in the aftermarket anyways. Smosh 2K Max for each stream. I know, I, I hate that it's like that, honestly. Like, what's... Why? You know? Why?
Dang, maybe I should have... I should have printed out a second one of these. But I'm already kind of like... Uh, traumatized from this uh, crazy ass cut last week this x does not go here where does this x go here I like how C is C. This is very much uh, not instrumental. Is this? Where are we? What are we listening to right now? Did we finish? Holy shit. I'm trying to figure out what the... Am I on like a shuffle mode? What is this? I'm just going to start from the top. Quickstream Chris never sub all. No, I'm standing up. <laughs> but you know, now that I'm standing up, I could get this to work. Right, we're on 17 desk mats and this container store uh, long underbed box. So it kind of gives us an illusion of a standing desk. So I think I can go maybe a little bit long ish. Maybe. I don't know yet. Jesus fucking Christ. Got it, it was nice catching stream again, bro. Uh, good luck with your endeavors. Have a good night. Punk shoot. Thanks so much for dropping by. Let's talk about people uh, who ask something. I've been dropped off the post office 12 hours after a deal has been finalized on a weekday. <laughs> you know, personally, I've not had that problem. Well, I can't remember the last time I've had that problem because uh, I live right next to a post office. But... I can also foresee it as a problem if I'm too lazy. <laughs> if I'm just lazy, uh, then yeah, I, I can I can see it as a problem. Kill combat, welcome back. <sighs> All right, what do we do here now? Control. Tab. Escape. Where's backspace? Right here. I keep forgetting this goal is still going. I'm scared to lose all my points again, like for the CC box. Well, this is this is gonna last a couple years, I think, <laughs> unless I blow up. Unless you guys blow me up, this is gonna go on for a couple years. Fun, I like that. There's a fun key. All right, Alt. Oh, there's a couple different alts. One is setup. I think that is supposed to be the left. Setup goes on the left. Function goes on the right. 
And then now we have to figure out what to do with wind keys. Oh, interesting. So there are these little pill-shaped uh, wind keys here, I guess. And it's funny because I could otherwise use these. These arrow keys are kind of interesting. That's like an option too. Okay, so that's done. I think the rest of this, I, I guess I don't really need. So we can bag this up. We can maybe bag this up in one of the smaller ones. This one. Jeez, uh, thought of going two terabytes of files to organize this stuff. Fear. Two terabytes, not that much. <laughs> You're good. You got this. Easy, easy work. Pens are welcome. Yes, this is Xerox, but uh, we're going to go do something interesting with this Xerox. Hold on, let's find this. Shit. All right. We're going to two-tone it with uh, R5 Xerox. Bought Xerox and R3, then I bought some XMI. Oh. Okay. So we're going to take out all of the mods. And then fill these in. I wonder if I took the pills on this one. thing of this two-tone I wish this were like not white but instead like a more of a cream oh whatever is that everything I don't see the pills I guess I don't I grab the pills on this one what color board would you slap this on I have no idea probably something closer to this gray I suppose. CRP R5 Xerox. Now Keys has a custom desk mat thing now. Oh! Shit, I could put this uh, thing on, this layout thing. All right, I'm trying to find pictures of Xerox. Give me a second. R5 Xerox, see if they do have the pills. Hard to tell. File extension is AI, which I think is W Illustrator, right? Yes. 
Right now my Xerox is chilling in a bag all Sag. Doesn't have to be Sag. You could put it on a board. Was it on R5 or R4? Oh, maybe it was R4. I think there were pills, I just didn't grab them. So I would need to look for them, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? Gotta find a rectangle for it though, I'm rectangle-less at the moment. Lacking in four-sided input devices. Do you guys like it or hate it? I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not sure if I would like this or hate this more um, than if I were to do the same thing for this. They gonna look good on the right board. I'm gonna bag this up and then let's see what the, the inverse is gonna look like. Is there a way to convert that to a different file format? I would need to use .kra or a TIFF. They're asking for AI files? Or is that like a template? The templates are .ai? Um, I don't know if there's... I mean, like, I gotta imagine there's gotta be something, but... I don't know. Maybe I should just use the arrow. The arrows look pretty cool. I'm just gonna go with the arrows. I'll, I'll leave them here, but... I think I might actually like this. Even though it's like very white, I think it's I think this could could work. equals 0 d This new CRP, I was eyeing this, but never pulled the trigger. This is, uh, well, we're, right now I'm mixing two different rounds of CRP. I believe this is, uh, this might be R4, I believe. R4 alphas and R6 uh, mods of Xerox. But yeah, um, we are sorting out some of our, uh, some of our R6 stuff right now. There you go. So what y'all think of that? A little bit uh, wobbly looking. I think I like it. Didn't they say the color won't match properly? Uh, they were both like single color. Uh, they're both single, single color, like the uh, R6 was all just the beige, and then R4 was all just the white. Um, so 
I've just done the inverse, and I think the inverse looks a little weird. I will say, I think the 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 mods, uh, like the the white version, is a little too white. But when you actually mix it here to make it like a the, a normal looking beige, is actually not that bad. So yeah, I think I'm a fan. I might, I might just put these pill uh, win keys back. I don't think I'm going to use them. I like these arrow keys. They look complex. Good to know. Yeah. I, I ordered the Xerox in R4, and I kind of, like, regretted it because I'm just like, oh, shit. So I was just like, man, it's, like, so white. And like the whole thing's just so white. But now that I'm able to like mix these, I'm actually kind of a fan. Will you hotkey there for track skip? It kind of looks like that, right? <laughs> All right, so we got uh, one set left, but I just want to kind of show off what it is exactly. Are, this is the black on black I just had. Right. So one more, and just showing off for anyone who's just tuning in, this is the uh, all red beige. So it kind of looks like red alert. Um, and then I also have these Cyrillic alphas. But honestly, I don't know if I want to use them. I wish that they did the Cyrillic alphas in black. And I think I would have actually liked that better. So, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure yet if I want to just leave them in that packaging. Maybe I will, because maybe I might just sell it. Let's see. Yeah, let's sort this out. Let's go do the bottom first. Okay, so I'm thinking after I finish all of this, I might switch over to redoing all these Joy-Con screws. Um, but um, what's kind of occurred to me is this is not a flat surface, this uh, container store box thing. So I might pull off one of these desk mats to put on top of it. That way it just kind of will be more smooth and even. Is this the red? Yes. I like how they... Oh, wait, is this also the weird... No, I think this is right. Put the delete key on here, which is pretty pretty nifty. But again, this was a weird one where they have this 1.75U control, but it's not home row. Oh, 
That's interesting. There's both backspace and delete. What do you guys like better, backspace or delete? I guess that's literally just a question for people who use split backspace. I wonder if the black on black had it. I realize, I guess, I don't know that I looked super hard at it. I kind of want to look through now and try to find it. See if there is one. Depends if I'm on Mac, I have a delete key, and if not, then backspace. I think I'm going to go hunt for it uh, after I clean all the rest of this up. I did also get this, what is this, Windows 11? I got these Windows 11 mods here. It's just kind of funny looking. I'm not sure, does this look very accurate? I don't know if this looks accurate, but there's also this notion that I don't actually have Windows 11, so I don't really know. <laughs> does, that, does that look biblically accurate? Quick, I'm gonna look for that. See if there's a delete key in here somewhere. Oh shit, it's right here. <laughs> oh, that was cool. I didn't have to look very hard. Gok, welcome! I was able to open that AI file in Krita, phrase B. I don't know what Krita is. Just like a vector graphics application, I'm guessing. Yeah, Gok, all I'm doing right now is just sorting through uh, some CRP that we recently received. Why do you need a KLE of the HHKB layout? I thought you know like the back of your hand. No, I just like it because it's like gridded. So um, if I ever like dump out a whole bunch of keys, it's like I know where everything goes, but I don't know exactly the placement of it when there's nothing there. So it's like, okay, F goes here. Where does P go if the P is the next thing I lift up? So right here, it's like I know immediately. I'll put the F right there. I put the P right there, and then I can just like move like this. And it all stays in place. On top of that, then I can also use it like a little, uh, a little pouring vessel when I put it into these little bags. That's my explanation.
Raster Graphics Editor, yeah, it's open source. Got it. Alright, I'm not going to take out the backspace from here. I'll just have both of them in here. Alright, so that's that. Um, okay, let's carry on to the uh, the next thing here. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to move some of this stuff off. And what I'm going to do is... Wow, look at that. I'm going to put this on right here. All right, now it's like I have a desk mat. And uh, let's do the Joy-Con stuff. What board is that? Uh, Valerable. Welcome back. Uh, this right here is the S58M from Not From Sam. Okay, um, so the goal tonight here is we're going to open up all of these and try to get these, uh, these screws right. So here we've done these aluminum shell replacements, but uh, luckily we've done this, you know, very, very recently, so I kind of I know what to look for now, and I know what to do kind of quickly enough. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I need to use the other one. This guy right here. Actually, do I need to? Whatever, it's already out. Uh, let's grab, let's grab trays. Uh, I might only need one tray at a time, to be honest. Uh, this one, I think we did just work on. Um, this one we did a couple of years ago. Um, do I need to change anything in here? I might. Is your back doing better since standing up? Um, how do I put it? Standing up is kind of like the only really bearable thing. Um, other than laying down. So, um... Like, is it better? I mean, it's it's better than sitting down. Sitting down is really, really, really nice for about, like, 10 minutes. But uh, after that, like, I'm just like, oh, God, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Have you tried taking any general over-the-counter pain medication? Not to this point, no. I could. I just haven't yet. Worst case scenario, you take some leave or some shit. Yeah, it's true. All right. Um, again, this one we did a long while back. We're just going to investigate here because I do have now these uh, brand new screws. I'm going to bring up the instructions again. Oh, God. Um, boxy pixel. Uh, 
Don't take Tylenol. If it's muscular, acetaminophens aren't as effective. Um, the problem is, I don't know, I don't know what Aleve is, um, but ibuprofen in general, I'm not sure if Aleve is that, but I know Motrin and Advil are. Uh, I'm allergic. I'm allergic to, to ibuprofen. I get hives. Are these 30 third party Joy Cons or just shells? Just shells. Assembly guides. Naproxen. I feel like I've heard of that. Uh, I don't know that I've used that to this point. Okay, this is a right Joy-Con. Okay, so I just need to check to see where the two millimeters are, but I think the only other thing is um, if there's that little pad thing that in, uh, encloses the Joy-Con, I'm just gonna pull that out. Aleve is naproxen. Got it. Uh, I need the spudger. BRB. All right. You got it. I don't fully remember how this is attached. I'm not sure if it's just these two screws. I wish there was a diagram for which screws install. Okay, these are three millimeters, which they probably are. I just need to find where the two millimeter ones are. I need to bring this back up. Okay, yeah, I do need to I do need to disassemble basically all of this. Yep, that's a 3. A chamomile tea with lemon and honey is fucking hitting. Hell yeah. What else am I missing here? Okay, I need to pull out this battery cable. Need to? I don't know if I need to, but it does seem to make it more convenient. <clears throat> oh, all right, interesting. There we go. Okay, so I just need to check, are these the two millimeter? I think they, they gotta be, yep. Two millimeter. Two millimeter. So this was, I'm pretty sure this was assembled all fine. There's a chance here that I didn't need to open this at all, but um, I think it's still worthwhile because I, I do kind of still have this feeling like I want to remove 
whatever padding is between the top shell and the joystick or the entry for the joystick. What else is it connected to? Yeah, it's there. Perfect. Now I know to remove this. Ugh, okay, I kind of wished it was raised more because I feel like to get to this close, uh, I'd have to kind of sit down. I like this demo version of for the first time. What is this still attached to? Oh, it might be I need to lift out the rumble motor. There we go. Perfect. This is what I want to take out. That is annoyingly in there. Is this like set in by an adhesive? What the heck? Oh, just got my acceptance email to SFSU and S. Oh, oh shit. San Francisco and San Jose. Nice. Congrats. Hey. One time for savior, guys. Good <laughs> shit, congrats. A. Hey. All right, this is what I need to take off. Damn, this is really stuck on. What the hell? Hood shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. How do I orient this? Okay, towards the joystick should look like that. Okay. Hood shit on a game. <laughs> Okay, that's much better. Okay, so this is all gone now. Uh, let's put this guy back in. Which way do I orient it? Does it matter? Let's put it in like that. Okay, cool. All right. Um. Now I have to do this thing where like we do gotta slightly elevate it. Best way to do that, I don't know. We'll try. Okay. There's this giant ass assembly that's all being held together by shit. God damn it. All being held together by ribbon cables. 
Fuck. You know what it is? There's this like raised portion of this this box that I'm on. So let me let me move to this side where it's more flat. First degree of masters. First degree. I'm finishing early because I took so many classes at my community college. Nice. Hold on, why am I doing it this way? I should flip this upside down. There we go. That's better. I think the problem is I gotta make sure that Hmm. What if I did it like... Something like this. I might get a third one. Oh, shit. Uh, just right here is an extra bottom support. I'm trying not to touch where the buttons are. But I do want it relatively safe. Master is next for athletic training or DPT for PT. Still deciding, so obsessed with this field. I love it. Wish I'd just gone all the way to PhD and become a professor. I'd have less gray hair. <laughs> all right. Let's try this again. All right, this is so fucking crazy. Okay, I gotta align this. Oh my god. This is so crazy. Okay, oh, alright, we got it. It's there. Alright. And gotta press this down. Also doing another set of alignments here. I'm just doing this in the air now. I'm not even like elevating it. Okay. Okay, I think this is where I need to be. Uh, key now here is to just get some screws down. Grab a three millimeter. I'm gonna put the joystick in or screw the joystick down. Makes you feel any uh, better? I'm 25 and on track to having a full ass head of silver hair by the time I'm 30. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm technically supposed to have done this first. The two two millimeter ones that go in right here. There we go. Wait, fuck, is this right? Is 
This doesn't seem right. Uh oh. What have I done here? Oh, fuck. Yeah, that wasn't even the right hole for anything. Alright. There we go. I think you may not know how old I am. I've had gray hair uh, since I was 22. I'm 54. Wasn't even the right hole for... <laughs> It's raining outside, but it's gotten kind of warm in here. I'm gonna open up, open up this window. Okay, <clears throat> so those are good there. Place the rumble module into the housing. Yeah, so this thing's already in there. Boom, that's in there. Rotate the battery housing. Fold over. Keep an eye on this orange flex cable. My eyes on it. Uh, before I do that, this should be here. What does it tell me to start screwing anything in? This is crazy. Tells you to screw in all this stuff like super late. Because the next thing is it's telling me to put the battery in before I've screwed anything. Which I guess is fine. Trying to figure out the orientation of this battery. It actually isn't that clear. Okay, I think this plus side goes on that. All right. And then we have to connect it just by pressing it down. It's kind of like Easy Mate. You know everyone's favorite connector, Easy Mate, right? We all love Easy Mate. Okay, wait. Before I do that. I'm going to put this button in here because I feel like it doesn't matter if I push that in now or if I push it in later. I might as well get this shoulder button correct. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm going to screw these in now. It's just going to make it easier, I think. Wait, I wasn't here for when you were talking about why you're remodding the Joy-Cons, what are you doing it for? Oh, it just looks nice. I bought these over three years ago. And I had done a pair in 2021. And then, like, I bought two pairs of these, uh, one in black and one in silver. Um, and I did, I did one black, I think it was this one, this black one, and then this silver one in 2021. And then the, uh, the other pair I just, I haven't touched until earlier this week. So, I just wanted to do it. it looks nice. Now, like, like, there's no, I don't know if you guys realize this, but there's no, like, uh, first party, like, black. There's only, like, that dark gray. Oh, you can get like a third-party black Joy-Con shell, but um, I, I I was really charmed by these when these first like uh, when I first came across these, just because these are like machined, machined aluminum, and it's like it's pretty custom, like to the oh god. Okay, so a problem here is that like I'm like hunching over. And I think a big part of that is because there's very little light. And also I'm trying to get a lot of things on camera. Um, I kind of want to turn a light on just because uh, I need to see where this battery thing is. God, this is so hard. All right, I think I got it in. Well, how goes the modding, Senor Chris? Zena, welcome back. Technique, welcome. Welcome back. All right, everything seems to be seated now. Shoulder buttons are good. This is supposed to be slid in over here. Yeah, it should be good and working. Oh shit. Oh, okay, whoa, I thought I lost a screw. This is a two millimeter. How many two millimeters? Oh, that might have been for this guy. Okay. Tim, welcome, Frank Ocean. <laughs> I'll refund you, fool. You see the rules. And doesn't it even say there? Hold on. I don't even remember. What did I write in? Kronos Didos. You're spending all this and not on the challenge? It does say it. Manage requests. You have plenty points. You should be spending these points on me activating windows. All right, refunded. Okay. With that, I think this one is officially coming to a close. Number one out of four. BRB, all right. Orient the tab that way, yep. Well, I'll de-dust shortly. Um, Sporting Corn, welcome back. Oh, seven streams. Thank you for that.
All right, so that part's screwed in, and then we should just be able to push this in together now. Remember "End Together Now" by Limp Biscuit? Legendary. Really enjoy Rearranged, always a banger song. Hell yeah. Okay, something here is not aligning quite properly. Shit. The antenna fell out of place here. I think that might have been it. The fuck? For some reason, I've had bulls on parade stuck in my head. That's fucking fair. Bro, stay in there. What the hell? Who is that? Trip Trippy OG VSN. Thanks for the follow. Okay, I think we're good on aligning now. Let's get this screwed back together. Okay, so the only 5mm screw goes at the bottom of the right Joy-Con. Yet for some reason, they still decided to send me like 15 of these bottom screws. I only need two. This is different but dope. Salute to you. I appreciate that. No, we're also... Uh... One thing is I'm standing up for this stream. I, uh, I have had some back pain for the last week. So we're on, uh, we're on 17 desk mats and this... Uh container store container for uh putting stuff under your bed anyways this one's done um so let me uh let's mount this back onto one of our switches where did i even what did i even do with them oh here okay all right this one right here officially done okay there's a very specific order i need to do these subsequent ones in um I think I need to do this one, and then this one, and then the black one last. Um, let's do it. I'm going to turn these lights back off. It's too bright. The reason being... Um, okay. I don't need to do this, but I am doing it this way. Um... These two have black screws in them, and I think those black screws were meant for this this one. <laughs> and I now just bought a bunch of replacement silver screws, so we're like, good. There we go. And we just did uh, this guy, so we're doing the second right Joy-Con, second straight right Joy-Con. Okay, so here is one off the bat. We have a, I believe this is, this is a two millimeter, I think. Um, 
All right. Fucking back to it. So I pop the battery out. Um, I guess also the antenna. Pop that out of the slot as well. Pull this out and then we just uh, remove the battery. We take it out of that sort of easy mate type thing. Anyways, Trippy, I appreciate the kind words. What the hell? That is so hard. Alright, there we go. Battery's out. Okay. So the goal here is... What? Oh, I feel like this is kind of, kind of the wrong-ish order. I mean, I think in order to get all these screws correct, I need to have two of them open at a time. So I might just end up doing that. Because there's a bunch of black screws in this one. I actually probably should open this one up first, now that I think about it. Maybe? I don't know. It may not matter. We might be able to figure something out here. So here's a couple of black screws. Oh yeah, there's a bunch more in here. Okay. Yeah, this was a weird one, but we'll get this. So here's two more black screws that were taken out here. These are two millimeter and then another couple of three millimeter ones here. Now, I think that's it for screws, to be honest. Um, hold on, let me see. You might be able to get away with not having to disassemble all of this entirely. Um, let me check. Okay, uh, the first time screws come in are for this PCB, I believe. And then the joystick, yeah, okay, so, all right, we can cheat here. I don't need to actually fully disassemble this. I'm going to use these three millimeter silver screws in here. So I'll leave that one there. Put this guy down as well. All right, now that's good. Now I need to get this guy open. So these are all of our new two millimeter uh, screws that are in silver. All right, so I just dumped a bunch of these out. So I'm, I'm guessing and hoping that these, oh shit. These should just be good now. So 
So I believe one of them goes in here. Oh shit. God damn it. Real good, real good. Okay, it's funny, these fucking two millimeter screws are magnetic, but not very magnetic. All right, there we go. Okay, um, and then from this point forward, should just be able to set this back in just like that. I didn't even need to take out the rumble motor to be honest. There's really not that many screws on these right Joy-Cons, but it is a more complicated set of bullshit in here. Alright, so then these are where the 3mm now go. So, I'll put one in here. Okay, so that's the end of our silver um, three millimeters, but I think I can steal one from one of these. It's funny. So I think, yeah, we'd have to do this one next just because there's so little holding this together at this point. Or maybe not, and we might still get away with not having to. We'll see. Um, okay. So I've just screwed that in. Um, ah, shit, I forgot to put in the... Um, ah, damn it. I forgot to put this button in. Okay. Let's unscrew. <laughs> Stupid. There we go. Perfect. All right, I need these lights back on. screwed in now. Buttons click OK. Uh, Alright, yeah, and then just uh, we will put the battery back in. Again, the positive side sits right there. Um, Punch the antenna back into place. All right. So then from here, we need to set the battery back into its slot, which is a bit of a challenge, as expected. Oh my god, come on. 
It's like the hardest part, putting this battery back in. And I feel like I didn't actually really even need to remove it. I feel like that's an unnecessary step that they've explained that you needed to do. You don't need to do this. Okay, I think I got it. Yep, now you can see it's kind of flashing now. So that's good. Uh, and then from here, we can basically attempt to reassemble it. I'm not going to say we actually fully are. Because we need to go back and then steal some screws from other stuff now. Uh, from these two left Joy-Cons. So uh, we can take one of these new... God damn it. Two millimeter silver screws. Put it into place. All right. And just like that, we should be, oh, should be, let's see. Uh, I think this is a really critical thing is to actually get this antenna seated properly. So it's got to go into that slot. But then also this cable really needs to get in there. And once you do that, that's when this thing can close more nicely. All right, so that's it. Um, I can screw down this one singular five millimeter one here. That should be good, but uh, I don't have enough of these. I need three more silver screws to close this up. These right here, what we got? We have two of these um, two millimeter screws. Actually, we have three here. Okay, that should be good then. All right, so this is still sort of in progress. That one's not officially done because we still need three more silver screws, um, which I think we hopefully should be able to extract from this black one. So I think maybe we can we can uh, do this a little bit more out of order now. <clears throat> Ooh, my back. So this is, this is where it's interesting because this was the, I think, third Joy-Con I did where I didn't realize that I didn't have two millimeter screws. I thought I was, I was trying to decipher the length, the length differences between the same three millimeter screws. I'm like, are some of these two or some of these two? And then I realized two is actually significantly shorter than three. Um, so this one right here, what we're about to do is replace what three millimeter um, screws there are with two where they need to be and then also replace a bunch of these silver ones with black ones so here's already one right here which i guess we can use right away here this is very quickly going to become officially done soon as soon as we can find more but I'm also going to pull up the left Joy-Con instructions here just to see better seize and savor thank you guys for the contributions okay this one you definitely don't need to remove I, I know that the removal is really only for one of them okay so here's a bunch of screws a bunch of silver three millimeters and I think I'm gonna just be able to remove all of these just gotta go really check through and see. Mm. 
Okay. I think now we can like pull this out and flip this over. So you can see there's yeah, there's a few places here. Now we just took in taken out some of these three millimeter ones and now finally we can screw these guys in. And then now we can call this one done. Alright. 204 done. Real nice. Real nice. So let's go here now. Perfect. That one's officially done. So now we just have two left ones to do. Um, I think at this stage, uh, all of these uh, little pads here have been removed um, by this point. So there's no reason to like really fully take a whole bunch of shit out. Um, but we will, whoa. Uh, we will put some of the stuff, uh, some of these screws in sort of these proper places now. So um, let me check. Okay. Uh, whoa. Okay, these all need to be two millimeter. So this is kind of where I'm thinking there, we might need to open this one up as well. Because I think there's a couple of black two millimeters in that one. funny is that these here definitely are three millimeter so I was just kind of putting in sort of these wrong length ones in some of these holes and the hope here is that that's fine like it shouldn't have destroyed the hole too much oh my god There we go. Okay. So then here's where things I think become a little bit dicey because now we're again going to need to start on number four before we finish number three. So push this back over here. You can see that this button should hopefully be pretty good. Now it's going to tell us that these corner ones should be the only three millimeter screws. Um, but these uh, the other diagonal screws, those are supposed to be two millimeter and I think all those are really doing is screwing the PCB down. But we don't have the two millimeters in black, so we're gonna need to open up these, or this one here to go get them. So just again, checking again, these seem good. <clears throat> uh, oh, interesting. I don't know if there's going to be enough two millimeter. When I think about it. Let's see. All right. So we're going to leave this one open. 
and uh, we're gonna pull this one apart. Now this one right here, Joy-Con number four, is the one that's deathly fucked up. Not deathly. It's very fucked up, but is actually still functional in the ways that I, I want it to be. Um, so that part is actually kind of nice. Um, so this ribbon cable is fully removed, and the place that it's supposed to go to, like the actual uh, component, um, or I guess the uh, the clasp thing that it's supposed to connect to, is kind of messed up at this point, which kind of sucks. Um, but to be fair, that's just for the SL and SR buttons, um, as I kind of explained in the last stream and also in the Discord notes. So it's for the SL and SR buttons, and also the pair button, which kind of don't matter, right? Like they kind of don't matter from the standpoint of, um, like, I'm not going to use these wirelessly because the signal travels so poorly. And just in general, I mean, how, how often am I really using my Joy-Cons wirelessly, even if they weren't metal? Okay, so here's a black... Here's one black... Uh, Oh, that's a three millimeter. Okay, I think a lot of these are gonna be three millimeter. Okay, so that's another three. Slide this out of the way. Okay, so here we go. Um, now here's the sad part is that I don't think, I don't think we have enough, 100% enough of these black two millimeter screws, which is, really unfortunate but the last place that it kind of shows up is when you uh, attach the side rail to the uh, the bottom housing which I guess is like really doesn't matter because that one can just easily be a three so it's like fine all right um wait am I crazy what did I just do Oh, nothing. Uh, I did nothing. That's what I did. Okay. So this guy, I'm putting the two millimeter that I just took out of here into that spot that it needs to be in. Um, and then there's one more two millimeter black left. I'll put in that other spot. Okay. So this one should basically be done ish. Uh, from here. Yeah, this is this is the part where it's kind of just like, uh, what do we do now? We would prefer that this be a two millimeter to connect the side rail to the bottom housing, but we don't have any more. So the options are either a two millimeter silver or a three millimeter black. I'm probably gonna go with the three millimeter black just to keep the color the same, even though that's probably technically not the correct move. It's probably just still the move that I would choose, just considering I've already used three millimeter in that spot to this point. And the, uh, the instructions say use either a two or a three. So I think this will be fine. Okay. So that should be good. And then now we should be able to connect this all together pretty nicely. Now there you go. It is flashing, um, and then all of these, I believe, close with three millimeter screws, so we should be good. Because there is now a surplus of, very small surplus of these three millimeter black screws. In fact, it's funny, uh, now that I'm thinking the other one over there should probably use not like it probably should close uh, or the side rail 
connect with a three because I think that this is probably the allotment they wanted us to use. That way there's one extra two millimeter and one extra three millimeter in black. But I don't know. I kind of don't really want to bother. <laughs> okay, so this one should be officially done. So I'm going to connect this here. If you want, we can, while well, this one's still open, we can just test that it works. Oh, shit. So it is working so far, but let's, uh, let's actually fully go into the test input section. All right, here we go. I mean, it seems good. Okay. We'll hold that down to exit, and then we'll try this side right here. Oh, I just hit the home button. But uh, that's, I think that's kind of it. Uh, I'll try again. Just a couple more things. So the home button worked. Uh, it just doesn't show up on that test screen. So yeah, seems good to me. Yeah, so these uh, these are all done, the black ones. Very cool. All right, um, let's get this one uh, finished up then. So, just got to get this screwed down here with a two millimeter. Should be good. Um, those Joy-Con are, oh shit, now that I think about it. Were those black already on the other one? I hope they were. Fuck, I don't remember. All right, let's try to, I'm gonna go back to my VOD real quick. <laughs> I don't fully know what I've done here and I don't really wanna open that up again. videos all right what we were just watching damn I've been blocking this shit with my head this kind of this whole time um Ah, I may have forgotten, didn't I? Okay, that's probably what these last two here were for then. <laughs> we may open this back up here at the very end. So that one technically might not be fully officially done just yet. Um, okay, then from here, we want to put this shoulder button into place. Fold this over. God damn it. Oh my god, what's happening? There we go. There we go, okay. So now I should screw these in 
again in a couple spots where the 3 is necessary. So that would include where the plastic is here. Is this a two? Oh, shit. Where are my threes at? There we go. Okay, it's actually becoming really hard to tell which one's a two and a three now. I feel like I'm kind of going crazy here. I think the the way I would tell is probably how magnetic they are, which is a really horrible way to look at this. Oh god. Okay. I need to separate these better. kind of mixed up the twos and the threes now and it's like I'm going a little crazy trying to distinguish That's a two. I can tell by how non-magnetic it is. Oh my god. Super annoying. Bruh! Oh, that is really annoying. They should... That's a horrible... I don't like these instructions, man. Because I could have easily done this with this battery cover off. Because this is not even... Oh, shit. Did I lose the screw in there? Fucking this thing, man. Motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh. 
All right, some news and notes for you guys. The All-Star game was today. Horrible display of defense. Carl Anthony Towns with 50 off the bench in a losing effort against the East. <laughs> Dame bring back Dame time. All right. Oh, shit. Tab goes there. What else has happened since yesterday? I spent very little time sitting today just because, like, I, I know I could feel it. So I ended up, uh, ended up going out. I went for a bike ride, and that kind of counts as sitting. And I, I can tell because it wasn't pleasant. fucking hate these like you think they're magnetic and they are just super weak i went on this bike ride i went to go check out a non-main branch of the sf public library and i gotta say that was pretty disappointing it was very small I'm glad I went, because now I know that I don't need to go there again. I then went to grab a salad for a late lunch. Shit, is that right? Well, I guess we could find out. It's supposed to be good, but I think uh, probably the wirelessness of it is not working. Um, for good reason. Okay, so I just plug this in here. It's working right now as it's paired, and I think this is a situation of um, the... Uh, the ribbon cable um not basically not being plugged in but this is otherwise it seems like it's good so this is as done as it'll be plastic bits welcome back all right So, uh, I think we will do the pointless task of reopening this just to put in some black screws in place of silver screws, because why not, right? Why not? We're already here, might as well. Right, plastic bits? Right. I think this is going to be the last thing that we'll do tonight. I'll, uh, we'll get marbles and Lightroom open. We can run a print giveaway after we get this one sorted out. Ah, yes, we are only uh, 54 subs away from the Lavender giveaway. Just letting you guys know. All right, again, the very pointless task of switching these screws out. There we 
There we go. All right, this one we technically need to take this guy all the way out. This is a, our singular two millimeter that we'll just temporarily not have in here. Pull this out of the way. Wait, shit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we only... It's funny, it, it moves out, but not that much. All right. There we go. I'll grab one of these three millimeter black screws right here. Screw that in right there. Perfect. Okay. Put this two millimeter one back into place. God damn. Yeah, what the fuck? All right. Cool. All right, and then get this all back together. There should be six left. Two of them will go into putting this housing in the right spot, and then the remaining four go into enclosing the shell. Is that right? All right, there's, oh, okay, there's five. Uh, one of them goes to the bottom. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. I forgot to put in the shoulder button. <laughs> Damn, there should be a way to get that slipped in easily. There is not. Ah, uh, yeah, no, there is not. Oh, fuck. The spring fell off. God damn it. Damn it, guys. <laughs> I think we can we can cheat this. We'll skip steps, which is clearly always the best move.
Okay. Shoulder buttons in there. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, take a look at all those extra silver screws we have now. Pretty ridiculous. Alright, that should be good now. Okay, so let me go get Lightroom open, and I'm going to get uh, marbles open, just in case there are any updates you have to go through. Um, but, uh, until that point, uh, let's go test that these both work on both of these switches. All right, here we go. Does that feel right? Well, that feels the same on both, which is weird feeling, but I guess it's right. Seems good. All right, they both seem to be good. Sick. All right. The uh, Joy-Con era is over, guys. Okay, uh, let's find a print to uh, do. I'm going to turn this light off as well. Too bright, too bright. You like it bright? I don't know about that. Sick thing. Welcome back, by the way. Alright. I have some very underexposed shots of uh, this... Uh, What's it called? Multnomah hike out in uh, Oregon from late 2018. Very underexposed. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I like the shots. I think most uh, people who shoot probably wouldn't. But I like these shots. I think there's some that are better than others, I'll say that. <laughs> I like this one a lot. Um, the problem is, um, I might have preferred, let's see, oh shit, X 
takes out of that. We might we might try to do a reinversion of this. Yeah, because we're getting like some of that weird haze at the edges from what I guess would be like the sprocket holes or just general underexposure issues. I like these shots underexposed. I don't care what you guys think. Trying to see what I like of these uh, HSL presets here. Still deciding. Crystal's kind of nice, but can't go wrong with this. I'm also wondering what it's like. Pull the saturation down. It's got like a two. What if you warm it up? Oh shit. Go standard. All right. Let's adjust this. See if we can get anything fun out of it. Oh, that seems a little nicer towards that edge. I like it with a little bit of purplish to it, TVH. Uh, what are we running on this today? A little Hana Mule? I think it might be a Hana Mule day. Ooh, what do we want to run on it? Let's see what highest will look like highest and then it's like really underexposed really really dark yeah let's do it you know i was watching a, a friend of mine sent this um this tiktok where uh they were making like a trading card I realize there's like there's these rounded corner cutter things that'll like that'll cut the corners for you. So I don't need to buy these pre cut or anything. It's just like I could I cut anything out rectangular and then just like it's almost like a hole punch. Oh. Yeah, I've been standing for a while, haven't I? Go to heavy art paper. Oh, God. All right, printing. Okie doke. Uh, let's run it, guys. You know what time it is. Meanwhile, this is uh, what we got here. This is the print. I think it would have looked nice on a nicer on a luster, to be honest. But it is an interesting paper for sure. Can I get Anya Eggy? Of course you can. 
That was really fast, wasn't it? All right. So let's go say hi to Tessa. <laughs> Jason, you came in just a little late. Just a little bit. All right, so let's go. Yeah, let's go say hi to Tessa. She's pushing for partner. So make sure that you guys... Uh, you guys go and support uh here's a bunch of commands waru warugaki discord um oh merch buy my merch here's the raid message if you're subbed and the raid message if you're not i will see if i'll be back tomorrow i don't know um i do have tomorrow off but uh you know this is a good uh, interesting test run of a full standing stream and uh it was a little tiring Especially being hunched over like that um but i'll see i'll see if we're back tomorrow if not then it probably will be tuesday so yeah we'll see okay um buy my merch and uh say hi to tessa all right peace guys